doing? Shit, since like since forever. Well, forever, <laughs> unofficially. <laughs> but, we on? But officially, 2017, that's when I got certified and shit. Mm-hmm. Man, that nigga been pouring drinks since like said. 2007, <laughs> man. <laughs> nigga, I was seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that? <laughs> Damn, I don't know. I'm dead ass. I was seven years old. Dude. You've been we've been pouring up drinking most of my life. <laughs> oh shit. That shit hot. Damn, that's me right there. <laughs> I've been drinking more than your life. <laughs> oh shit. I was drinking I was like fourteen. Holy moly. Oh yeah, twelve over here. That's my older cousin. You feel Oh for me? real. Yeah. See I actually related. Yeah, it's blood. Oh blood. blood. I thought you were just saying cuz like same grandmother. <laughs> yeah, like we got the same blood in our veins. Like mm, I feel my you. My mama got the same last name. <laughs> okay. Okay, I feel you. But hey, we in here, as we can tell, we got another beautiful banger episode. And today we are joined by the civilized savages, AKA Menace. Bring a round of applause. What's up? Goddamn headphones. I'm not using these goddamn headphones. Shit, fuck it. Let's not use the headphones. I'm not, I can't, no. I guess they really be fucking with me. Shit, well, no, civilized savages, you know, high table, high table entertainment. Okay. You know, you know, you know where that come from? No. You ever watch John Wick? Yes. We the high table. Oh! <laughs> That's me and Shorty's favorite movie. What? Yeah. Yes. Right. We be fucking with them John Wicks. That's hard. I like yeah, high table entertainment. High table. That's where we got it from. Okay, that's the label. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that a is that a home? That's a real company. That's, that's an in-house thing? Company. That's our company. That's the that's what our entertainment company. Oh. It's official. Like, that's yeah. what. Oh, so it's, that's why I said it's in-house. Signed, signed to me. Okay. Yeah. Signed to us. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Like. How you feeling today, little minutes? I said, I'm good. You know, the law of menace, that's just the that's the grand name. It's menace, you know. Yeah. Period, M E period, M E N A C E. You know, it's an acronym. Make What's it, the acronym? He said it to me in the door and I wasn't <laughs> ready to catch it. Now I'm ready to catch it. Make evil niggas accept conscious energy. Make it evil niggas accept conscious energy. So, like, do y'all just be sitting around just like thinking of cool shit? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I'm sorry, I didn't do intro. This is this is Mr. Cheats. Is that yeah. the name? Yeah, cheat, cheat them. Everybody know about that. I try to think of like a man, cool man. Tell niggas who you is, man. <laughs> they know, they, they know, they know who it is. is. I know Everybody who it is. Know you is. Cheat, so cheat them. Just know the nigga in the video that died, he not dead. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm, I'm still, still alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive. Nigga, what you talking about? You all the funny shit, bro. Yeah, man, that's 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 the that's the right hand, man. That's that's uh-huh. who. Well, he was splitting the right hand with Trail. You know, that's the, that's the other member. But mm-hmm. you know. Shout out Trill. Yeah, Couldn't be with us. You know, that's 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 who I go to. That's the partner, man. Mm-hmm. I, I'm from Baby. That's Slim. You feel what I'm saying? You know, cash, like if you look at Cash Money, that's Slim Roll. That's mm-hmm. Slim Rowling right there. I know what you're talking I'm about. Baby. That, that's, how, that's how we doing it. Damn, that's that's a big title. I'm re- I'm here to accept it. He live up to it, though. I was born for uh-huh. it. <laughs> so, so he just, so he not, you can't just specifically say like, oh, he my, he my road manager like oh he my instagram that's my guy. business partner that's yeah that's, 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 that's what i heard you call him if you. i say that to people they be like you man the champ be like no i'm not managing <laughs> that's my business partner <laughs> like I mean, okay because we're not talking about no careers we're talking about entities high table entertainment yeah i like we, that we great careers uh-huh you know what i mean because it's not just about like me and just about music we want to be in the modeling we've been being the acting you know what i mean we want to be in the apps anything that you know has anything to do with trying to make a dream come to life mm-hmm. you know what i mean uh, we get behind that you feel me because the world ain't one dimensional so why should we be yeah you know what i mean yeah i like that i that's like to that. answer your question you say we think about cool ideas we really sit there like we like watch a movie or tv show we call each other have you seen this you seen that and that's thing we know well, all right we can add this to that or so Let's just make this and that and it's not it's not like a it's not like a just a family relationship it's more than that it's a, yeah, it's a brotherhood cause, cause, you know a lot of people your family may not be shit. Yeah. you know they what i'm saying just because that, pers- that person in your family don't mean they ain't a piece of shit. that's just your piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> you know what i mean so <laughs> with the last name yeah it's bigger than that you gotta be able to connect with somebody intellectually with the same idea see the same vision like i look at me and him not just i look at him like how people look at david david simon and ed burns mm-hmm my son's is episodes of the wire you shit. know what i mean shit. Like, i felt that that's that's what's going on we from the wire that's my hood this is you got real rap like like yeah real like, rap. so that's how i feel like you know i'm trying to paint i ain't trying to glorify the, the streets i'm trying to paint pictures of it and mm-hmm. give you realizations that will go on tell the stories for the people that don't be able to tell stories like mm-hmm. you know when we grow up like i remember 
I, I, I was happy to make the 16. I ain't think I was gonna make the 18. When I made the 18, <laughs> I ain't think I was gonna make the 21. Yeah, I understand. Then when I made the 21, I felt lost because I'm like, damn, what I ain't spent this long. Hey, <laughs> so, man. for people that didn't get to live that long, and like, you know, my peers and my, my fallen soldiers that and that's not able to tell these stories and shit like that, mm-hmm. I tell them for them. You know what I mean? To make sure they still stay alive. The same way people do with TV shows and movies. Yeah. These are based on true events, so why shouldn't I do the same thing in my own way? <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I, I definitely, my opinion, like, when I first went to your Instagram page, uh, the first video, like, I've never listened to an artist from Baltimore and was like, yo, this is real rap. Like, this is <laughs> rap. Like, this nigga's <laughs> rapping. Like, like that shit is just crazy. Like, I, I, I feel like... Which video was it? Fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the name of it. It was the one where he died in it. No, it wasn't the one where he died in it. I watched that after. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was make-believe. <laughs> that was the one he died in. Uh-huh. That was the what was the one before that? Um, I got a lot of videos. I mean, I got before the that. crown. No, it was like right before that. Like, like you released the stuff. What was that? Like, what I look like? What was I wearing? I can tell you. Did he have hair in it? That had, that had a bush. Like on top of my Yeah, shirt. you had a bush. Yeah, that was I'm a star. star. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my star. Oh, yeah. It was my, my star. Okay. My star. That was like my, that was my second video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your videos are very like thought out of. It's not just like, let's go to the gas station and just <laughs> fuck around and just you know i direct all my videos uh-huh like I, I, i'm me and him we come up with treatments mm-hmm. and you know like we pretty much like when somebody's shooting with us they like i like that's why i like to shoot with real creators because they add to it instead of feeling as if like you know i just gotta tell you how to do this now it's about us creating it creating something beautiful where it, it paints a picture in a, in a true uh, um a true illustration okay you know what i mean i'm and that's what we try to do like i don't try to half ass because you know any nigga can get 50 niggas in the background and all that you feel me these niggas got guns and showing just getting themselves indicted for real you like, know niggas bored in the video when they point <laughs> up on the floor <laughs> you know like and i ain't knocking it but for me though i got a, like a real imagination so like i like to actually create things that i would want to see or watch for myself you know have you always been that poetic yeah uh-huh like like um growing up I didn't necessarily want to get into trouble. Like, I was more so, I used to like the, you know, was like write music. Like, I was writing music as a kid. Like, I didn't play sports and shit like that. So I used to write poetry and music and, you know, like do theater and things of that nature. But once, you know, you know how like, when you go to school and you get tried, you know how people always tell you like, no nah, man, you gotta let it go. I wasn't letting nothing go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I wasn't letting it go and then, you know, you go through your own your own trial and tribulation. You know, you know, dad, your mom might split up. If more things might go to you. Might move to another neighborhood. You by yourself. You ain't around no family. You know, you gotta make decisions, and then you gotta stand on top of your decisions that you make. A lot of times, people want to make decisions and then try to double back once the consequences come. There, I just never been that type of person. Yeah. You know, you gotta follow through because to follow through you don't know what might happen on the end of the story because you might learn something out of that you know and be able to help somebody else mm-hmm. but what are you teaching the people under you if you just tuck your tail and you backpedal yeah. every time shit get hurt yeah. or you get into something mm-hmm. you know it's not really giving anything but the wrong message you feel okay. me and i ain't with that so <laughs> how how does how does the, is, is have did you learn to be the because you sound like a leader um so what's your question <laughs> like do you is that with like because you know people certain people like they study to be a leader you know what i mean like certain people you know what i mean are you do you cons- like how how am i gonna how am i gonna phrase this do you do you call yourself a leader like do you feel yourself like a leader um honestly nah i don't, I don't just look at it from that, that point of view like i let that be chosen mm-hmm. more so because i don't feel like I'm better than anybody else. Like, like I wouldn't tell somebody to do something I wouldn't do myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't just look at it like, yeah, I'm the leader. That's because nine times out of ten, the person that always elects themselves the leader is the weakest. Yeah. You know, the person that always want to jump out and try to tell other people what to do and just call shots, that's not the person that should lead because that shows how selfish they are because they want to demand somebody to do something first instead of just doing it themselves and getting it done. Mm-hmm. You know, so... If you asking me like how I look at it, if I feel like I'm a leader in certain aspects, yeah. I'm but not, like, I'm, I, I never wanted to. I just don't like branding myself as that. It's just if that's how that's how I come off, it's just, that's what it is because it has to be natural, you know. Mm-hmm. Like natural leaders, like when you look at 
um, in history, they never really wanted to be that. They just stepped up to the plate because they felt like that's what would be right. Okay. So that's just how I look at it, you know, like, because where I slack, he might got a strong point, and I follow that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, in order to be a chief, you got to learn how to follow. You got to be an Indian first. You got to mm-hmm. be able to follow orders in order to give orders. So I don't, I don't look at me like, you know, I feel like I, we are leaders in our own ways, you know, because where somebody might be lax at, you could be stronger. Yeah. And, you know, if you're not willing to look at it like that and actually give that type of power and shift it, mm-hmm. you're going to crash. Yeah. <laughs> You know I feel what I mean? you. Yeah, I feel you. Got to be checks and balances. Yeah, I understand. I understand that, and it, 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 it opened my minds up more. Um, I kind of, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna switch it up, like so it won't, won't stay like inspirational and all serious <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how? What type of person were you in high school? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was a good question. That was a good question. I knew it was, Shorty. Hey, yo. Um, I was a demon. Huh? At that point, I was a real demon. Like, what I say. Well, I say like with my like you was you stealing niggas people. iPhones? I was beating niggas up for the iPhones. Oh shit! Yeah. I ain't like, saying iPhones. iPhones, yeah. sidekicks, yeah. sidekicks, yeah. all of the all the chirps like you chirps, eight seven like eight seventy fives, four fifties. Yeah, y'all niggas I'm definitely. Like, I ain't yeah. kidding. Nigga. I was taking twenty fives back then. Back then. Yeah, I don't. Y'all niggas was, definitely ordered the sidekicks. Nah, I'm the, taking nigga iPods. Yeah, oh. yeah. If the iPods was with iPhones, it was you couldn't. Like I was, I was like a demon back then though, cause I had a chip on my shoulder. Like, at high school, I was, like, real angry, but I was kind of seasoned, you know? So, I wasn't really focused on school as much. I do my schoolwork, but I like being I like being with the niggas that was making trouble and yeah. I was getting into things because, for me, not, like, you know, not playing sports shit like that, I used to realize how much attention you would get for doing bad things. Mm-hmm. So, like, that used to be my thing. <laughs> like, that would be my go-to, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, just getting into shit. But like high school, I used to do like a lot of different shit. I used to do theater and photography. Like I was real big in photography in mm-hmm. high school. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I won a couple competitions, won some competitions at DC. Oh shit, for you real? Know. Yeah, but I was still getting into shit though. Like, mm-hmm. you know, just, I don't know, not seeing a big picture and realizing, you know, by the time I was in high school. So don't we not going to skip over your photography, man. man that's man. what I'm saying. That's what I'm about to say. Man, this shit in Walter's Art Museum. We're not going to skip over that. <laughs> what did he say? He had this shit in Walter's Art Museum, bro. In the, bu- in the, in the Baltimore, over that. In the Baltimore um, Museum of Art. Yeah, not well, in the bottom. It was one. It was in both of those. What type of photography was this? Yeah, what type of photography was this? We didn't even talk about this. Um, I used to take um realism photography. Like I had this picture when I was in Doug. Like our classroom was real fucked up, so I took a picture of the classroom and it won. You know, like it got first place. I had to go to Capitol Hill in DC and all that to get my award and all that. Shit. And um, I used to just take pictures of like nature. I take pictures of anything for real. Like my teacher, she used to give me tasks like, all right, I want six hundred frames by the end of the week. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many pictures? That's a lot got? of pictures. Yeah. Nigga. So <laughs> I just I take pictures of the hood. I take pictures like I, just, I used to, like one of the, <laughs> it's crazy because like one of the pictures that's in the Bob Museum of Art she talking about was a dope hole right there on um. Lafayette and um, Drew Hill. <laughs> oh shit! I <laughs> right know before what you I get said. to the avenue, like yeah, so right there before you get mean. to the field, it was a whole dope hole right there. Yeah, and it was like nighttime, and it looked it's so creepy, but it was like it captured the captured the town. You yeah. know what I mean? Then the other one was like I had these kids playing on Caroline Street. Mm-hmm. I was taking pictures of them. Took pictures of another dope spot on um, Bone Street, like the outside, like not people doing nothing, but like, yeah. And it was crazy because. I was going around doing shit like I, I was I was getting in the shit and still taking pictures <laughs> while I'm out here being big. Hey, explain, <laughs> explain that. Give me a cool, give me a not a cool, but give me a story. All right. Of when you was expelled like on that. Um, all right, let me give you a sample. Like the bone shit. It's I been was, ten years, right? Yeah, okay. I was I was yeah, ro- I, I, I was I was running around robbing people and then taking pictures afterwards. Like I take what? pictures before and after I robbed somebody. So I got the bit of my book bag, the camera in my book bag. You know what I mean? No mask. No mask? Yeah. Back then, you been nobody with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then I did. Like, and, 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 and then back then, if you wanted to come, hey, I, I, you got a gun, I got a gun. Take your chances. So, I got a question. So, like, when, when you say you just had a bit in the in the camera, like, nigga, what else was in the book bag? Did you have, like, a, like a pencil sharpener? Like, what was in the book bag? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Did you have some quarters in there? Like, uh, nigga, just bus, bus tickets. Uh-huh. Uh, um, like, yeah, I used, I used to hit, I used to, um, hit licks and then go on the bus with my bus tickets and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, 
Yeah. Like, for real, like, I'm just living like that. <laughs> I, I believe you. Like, just ignorant that is fine, you know? But, um, you know, coming from school, doing shit like that with the homies, you feel me? Like, go downtown, be beating niggas up, taking shit, you know? Just, just a bunch of ignorant shit, you know, a bunch of young niggas trying to get out their angers from they, from their households or what they may not be messing with the love they feel like they not getting, okay. trying to take out their rage, you know, not knowing how to. Can like, I ask you another question? So when you said you was doing shit like that, like, I remember you said, um, like how you said, the, the, the bad stuff you do gets the most attention. Can you, now thinking back on that, on the way, you, the way you've been at what you was doing, do you feel like you knew a reason why you was doing that and why you was getting into that? Um, yeah, I was angry. Mm-hmm. All that shit stems from how you feel and what's going on in your life. Like, you know, like, your dad not around, your mom struggling, you feel like you're not getting enough attention, you know what I mean? You you, you by yourself, like, and you idle-minded. So mm-hmm. with that, you meet other kids that's, like, the same way, going through the same things, and then, like, you're trying to learn what real loyalty is. So you would... All right, we talking about robbing somebody. You're not just going to be like, yo, I'm not with it. Because a lot of times that outcast you. Mm-hmm. So once you don't get out that car, once you don't pull a tray, you got to go all the way. <laughs> and then once you go all the way, you start to be known for doing that. And mm-hmm. then, you know, they steal your people. So it don't stop. You get into a new adventure every day. Shit, nigga, and every day? You, and then once you get used to it, you get into your own adventures. Like that's another. Cool I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's normal. It. Like I'm not, you're not looking at it like, yo, that's some bad shit. I can just go to jail for for my like, cause you're not looking at it like, all right, that's jail, that's, that's normal. That that's the thing. Like you're not. We looking said at we it expected like, to do that. Yeah, like I always like it's crazy. I never went to jail, but I always thought I would. Like like throughout everything I ever did in my life, I, I'm blessed not to have ever touched the never touched the jail or touched the pen, but I never thought that I wasn't. That was yeah. the part that fucked me up. I you was, was like, you were just preparing for it. I was expecting. I was like, when my yeah. time gonna come? I was just thinking, like, yeah. <laughs> no, we gonna knock one word around here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, like I used to always think, like, you know, my turn gonna come sooner or later. You know, but it just didn't. So that's when I started, like, really, you know, start looking at things differently. Then I had my daughter, so mm. had my first child, so I started like having to really look at like different. Like, I really want to be here for her. How you many know? kids you have? Two. Mm-hmm. I got a um, nine-year-old, Amaya, and I just had a, um, a new child, um, um, Noel. She's That's beautiful. Months. Clap it up for the new goddamn baby boy. God damn. Clap it up for her mother, too. She, Shout out she to the mom. She be holding that shit down. She be holding, holding that shit down. I swear to God, I love her. Okay. Can't do it without her. But, but, you know, like my first child, her mom had dipped off on us when she was um two years. Like, she broke out. I ain't seen her since. Mm-hmm. You know, like my daughter nine now, so it put me in a position where like, all right, might wanna be in the street where I can full fledged where nigga can knock my face off while I go to jail and then she by herself or I'm gonna wanna think back and you know, be do the selfless thing and figure something else out. So yeah. it made me start looking at life differently and appreciating it. Cause you stuff. wasn't just doing stuff for yourself anymore. Yeah, yeah. And you know, she she helped me grow up. You know, like I said, I had her at nineteen. Mm-hmm. So you gotta think at 21, I'm a single dad. You so it's like, you can't. My child lives with me, so it's like, like, I y'all can just leave you here or just do this and that. Like, I had to think, I had to think better. So and it was a blessing because it made me think outside the box. I started going back to school. I went and got my diploma. You feel me? I started going to college, taking classes and shit. Mm-hmm. I started taking the grant money, started putting into my music. Mm-hmm. You know, like just doing different things where it's like, yo, I can get money off of this, get money off of that. I started learning about. Just know different things about myself, and hey, we, we created a high team with that. <laughs> yeah, like, it's lit. And but, you know, we created a high team in 2019. You know, before and, before I ask yeah. the next question, can you hit that switch? I'm kind of getting chilly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I need to burn. Burn. It ain't summertime yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we are you? I wanna I wanna ask you a question about your nine year old. Okay. How do you like? As a father watching her grow up, how how do you think she is as a person? Just yeah, she beautiful, mm-hmm. like she beautiful and she smart. Because I keep it real with my baby, like she's seen things with me growing up, and she's not naive. She's naive. She's not naive to her dad, so she's able to come to her dad and talk to her dad about whatever going on in her life. So 
she might be a little more advanced than the, than the average kid. Like, she watched kids argue over dumb shit and stir at them like a parent. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I lying? <laughs> like, she, like, she a stir at you like a parent. Like, that's stupid. Okay, that's a whole adult and a child. But I got to, like, not suppose to everything. Cause she, I be wanting to show her stuff. I be like, no, you still, I can't show you that yet. <laughs> like, she loves like Bulldogs. <laughs> Uh huh. You feel me? Like, like I put on like on different things. You put her onto the Boondocks? Of course. Cause she, she a big anime fan, so anything that's like anime format, she's gonna watch. That's hot. I like that. Like, that's that's put beautiful. put on Demon Slayer, so you can watch. That. <laughs> you know, just, just like she like drawing, she like the sketch. She's artistic, you know, like, mm-hmm. and she really likes to express herself that way. So I just support it, you know, cause I'm I like, I'm, I'm an artsy person at heart. I just look this way. <laughs> you know what I mean, and nigga. What you mean? Look this way? It, Cause my nigga, you know how many times I go to events and niggas look at me like, "Why y'all here? Y'all niggas not." I'm di- cuz mm-hmm. t- tell us, man. Yeah, like, yeah, we go to a lot of the. Oh hell stages. no, niggas looking at y'all like Jim Crow laws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 who, be like, like, what the nigga right say? Don't trust them new niggas yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, it's bro. Like, y'all seen. How does how does that, that how does that make y'all feel? feel? Because like, just I'm like, pop out more. Exactly. You won't see me more. Like, uh-huh. it make me feel like I'm, I'm, this thing here just whack. That's all I feel like. I be getting comfortable, like, because it ain't going to move me. Because there's people there that do like me, that, you mm-hmm. feel me? So that's what I really be focusing on. But a lot, a lot of these niggas is bitch ass niggas. Yeah, so you know me, I be like, <laughs> like I, I tried. Um, this nigga, this nigga, the realest nigga I met, he pulled up 20 minutes early. I wasn't <laughs> even here yet. <laughs> I told him, I felt bad. I'm like, fuck, I need to get my shit together. Probably plan to prevent poor performance, man. Yes, sir. You sound like my goddamn father when you said that. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that's some gangster shit, whole time. That's what my father was gangster, that's nigga. That's what I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what you expect, I be, uh, listen, I be trying. It's crazy because people think I'm, <laughs> he didn't, um, I'm a nice one. My tolerance with that bullshit <laughs> is like, no, <laughs> no, it's not. I, I don't, I don't so know. So tell me, so, all right, Chief, this is a question for you. Tell me a time where, like, Somebody give you, oh, yeah, it's time to pop it over. Yeah, it's definitely oh. pop o'clock time. Pop o'clock time. Because melting. What we're going to do is like professional. The blend, best, so the up. best, the best guest I've had yet. This nigga, this nigga, Brett Rose. Holy shit. And, and this is not my liquor. And it's not Bel Air. And it's not yeah. Paul. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Moet. Wait, no, that clique on no, that bull. No, don't talk. Relax, brother. Relax. I'm we sorry. It. It's it's professional. <laughs> that shit melting all that. Yeah, we been waiting for a minute. Oh shit, we should have been did it, huh? No, that's all cool. No, that's all cool. I never had I did have I had like a mimosa before. I never had like no, see champagne. Shit, this is my first time here. You know, mimosas is basically the bullshit Yeah, yeah they cool. hit you with the laundry. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. I, I I got a fucking long way to go, nigga. You saw you saw what I said I had when you when you called me. <laughs> man said he had some pause. I was like, oh no, man. What nigga, did you nigga do? Said, nigga said, ill on the phone. Yeah, that's why he was about to call. That's why he was calling you early. That's what like, you all ice. <laughs> <laughs> How much ice he got? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I only had two ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, y'all said four ice cubes. Look how much. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Nigga took all the ice cubes. Nigga said, Pooh, that's my thug. I'm gonna pull you the over to the Yo, y'all niggas is killing me, bro. Um, I'm, I'm, um, the so keep. What was the question you was about to ask? Nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot. Yeah. You were saying we pulled up with that shit. Uh, yeah, man. That's what the question you was about to ask me. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, so tell me about one of them times where, like, you said you had low expectations for bullshit. So tell me, like, when a nigga did, like, the most slightest thing, but you took it to the max. And you did some overtop shit. <laughs> I was waiting for him. He know. He already know the story. You, about to you want to tell you something recent? Yeah. You want to tell the story? Yeah, let so, him tell us. Oh, you can tell us. You always say the location? Go ahead. Say all that shit. I don't give a fuck. The name niggas don't even let that no more. The, the, it was City Beach. City Beach, yeah. Okay. So we come in, like I said, the RC scene. Mm-hmm. We in there. Me and Alva guy, part of the trail. We in there. Mm-hmm. Three deep way gold up. I came in there with a bottle of Remy. Oh, I'm already shit. mad because I spent because I went to the wrong area, so they taxed us for this room. Oh, <laughs> I'm shit. like, all right, boom, come in there. We brought our own cup. We had red cups. Everybody else had some other colored cups. So I come in there. We chilling. Man, this dip, just me and Trill now. Pull my Remy, put it on the speaker. All right, fuck. It. I'm sitting right there. Some drunk nigga came in there. He drunk with a bottle of Grey Goose. Ew, he was white, wasn't he? No, he was black. Ew. 
I'm glad he wasn't white because I'd have caught a case because I might have took it too offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Dang so it. he was black. He grabbed my cup. I could tell you drunk. I can tell. Cause I'm an alcoholic, so I can tell you fucked up. He gripped the shit out of my cup. Who gave me the hole? This nigga squeeze. Yeah, I'm like, ho, ho. Yo, that's my cup. No, no, that's my like, bro. That's my cup. I know I put it right there. He got the whole bottle. I guess he looked at me like I'm a peasant nigga or something. Oh, peasant nigga. You want to hit it? I, if you want to hit the bottle, you can hit it. <laughs> Who the fuck is you talking? I should have choked you. Who man, you talking to? In the middle of the party, man. In the yeah. middle. Of, where was y'all at? They down City Beach. It was down like over east, like oh, off of Green Mountain shit. Like it was, it was like one of the spots. Where oh, that's not a beach. Nah, 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 nah. It was a yeah. spot. It was somebody. It was like one of the spots with somebody crab. It was, it was cool though. Yeah. So I get like five, ten phone calls. Yo, what's up with your people, yo? Mm-hmm. I'm like, what you talking about? Man, you choked the nigga out in the middle of the party. Yeah, I said, I said, all right. <laughs> What, what, what the nigga do? Exactly. Man, I don't know, man. Why you watch it? So what? <laughs> what you saying? No, I ain't saying. No. What, what did you say? <laughs> why so I much. would be. What no. I would die myself. Niggas, I just let him niggas, know, niggas bro. Said, you watch, this you can watch, go wrong. You ever right watched the right post oh. show? Yeah. Remember the. You're too close, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I was. Telling them like, bro, just go away. You don't. Like I said, you're too go. close, Bob. You're too close, man. <laughs> and that's all it was. And it was like, and then they laughing. His other homeboy tried to come, and then and then my came brother and like, what the said, fuck is you doing? Yeah, they can let your man keep getting choked out. Like nobody stopped. Your and man everybody was done. kept going. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nigga waited till he was done. And everybody kept like, going about their way, yeah, but yeah. that's how I'd be like, well, you better not getting that. Get your man it would just fuck up. That's why I'd be like on the the my talent is low on. That type of bullshit, cause I'm so open hearted. Me and him, we both open hearted. And we show respect. Show respect. So like, like, don't do that, yo. Disrespect. You earn everything. That That's comes why with I, will, I will lash out when you like that because no I'm cap. so I'm so open hearted with people. Yo, you want to drink with some food? Like you, said, like you said, like you said, we seen us pull up early. You know what I mean? We don't come empty handed. It's nothing but love. So when you disrespect that, yeah, we are gonna take it personal. Hell yeah, I don't blame uh, you. Uh, 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 we, 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 I mean, it's, it's, it's reactions to every age. It's <laughs> no funny because I wasn't expecting it from that crowd because I'd be in, could we come from them crowds and we've been in there and it'd be everything cool. Man, I was I, not expecting it from that crowd. Man, I better show, man, I better clubs and shows where everybody in there got a gut on them, but everybody having fun. Yeah. What? Like, nobody's disrespecting yeah, nobody. Yeah, that's why I say we've been in areas where everybody. Like, why y'all, cool. how y'all get the gun in the club? You, you asking the wrong shit. You worry about the wrong shit. You worry. No, you talk to me. You worry about the wrong shit. I'm just for educational purposes. <laughs> now, ain't nothing. I'm gonna tell these people. You got. You, you, you ain't. Cam you don't know how to. You shouldn't have one yeah. in there. You, you ain't worried. You, you, you ain't got the problem. Okay. Know what I mean? But when, I'm my, point bit, my, point bit, my point being. My point being. That's mm. a good. Quote. My point being is just. It don't be not it's crazy because like with violence like that. First thing everybody said, man, these niggas crazy but the whole time. <laughs> I'm talking about niggas that showing love to each other, niggas dab each other, man, fuck with your music, bit, bit, bit. You get around a lot of these weird ass niggas that just be on some whole other shit. Niggas tell you they like your shit and then try to down your shit behind your back. Uh, the break, you know what I mean? So, like, and then not mention, like, they be acting like when they do shit like that, it's not supposed to be repercussions behind it, you know? Yeah. And that's where the shit done got soft at. You know, like, niggas are talk all Was he a shit. young nigga? Was he a young nigga? I feel like I like wasn't there. I left. I wasn't there. Oh, yeah, I he wasn't there. I'm talking about in general. He, he was over there 25. He wasn't my age. Uh-huh. He probably had to be been 25, 30. Wait, that's old, bro. I'm talking about in my age bracket. He was in his 30s. So, but he was older than 25. No. That's so, he, I, that's a grown ass man. Yeah, yeah. I like to look at shit. Like, I like to look at age bracket. I'm going to go, all right. I'm freshly 21. 25. Oh, you doing good shit for yourself. Yeah. I'm standing yeah. 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 Age bracket, I look under 25. All right, you still growing. 20, that 25 to 30, are you You shouldn't stop knowing better now. Like, man, hey, we look at niggas. Did, we, did, look, let's stop, man. No, we, that's how I look at now. It's my age, not oh. back then. Now, I'm not saying nigga, but nigga was 18, man. Niggas was 16 with kids, man. That's yeah, a that, grown man. Okay, so y'all, y'all, y'all Back then, y'all I don't get, look at people like that no more. Because okay. that was, to me, that's the wrong way of thinking. I look at all right, what's going on. So, all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, how, all right, so I'm going to ask you a question. So give me, like, so I'm a young nigga, so I have a lot to learn. So I'm trying to ask all of it in the time I got. So. Let's give me the time. So you were saying like, all right, after twenty five, such and such. Give me, give me those age brushes. What you should be and where you should be in life. Oh, well, no, nah, that's different. Not, not, like that, not, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. How you thinking? Yeah, not after how you think. Twenty five. Now you should understand constantly at that age. Now. Yeah, your mind should be so yeah. way different. 
I'm not gonna say you ain't financially supposed to be and having this. I'm not gonna go through that. struggles yeah. in life, so you can't. But just after put that 25, on people. you should start realizing, all right, it's consequences and repercussions. You should like respect I life say, at 25 yeah, years yeah. old. Yeah. You so should, that's you should, what I say. You should know what certain things should get you at 25 I can't tell years old. Everybody at 16, 18, because you might not grow up that violent, harsh. But I'm gonna say by 25, bro, you don't understand the shit you say. <laughs> you you playing with life. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas say you juggling your life. That's what I said. Twenty, but that's why I said I wouldn't say in thirties because a thirty year old in my life made it. You should oh already knew better. Mm -hmm. Like I turned thirty. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm thirty two. Mm -hmm. So you made it this. You always should know not to say what to do. So that's why I say young people. Yeah, I know society don't give you to. I will give you a grace period unless I see where you're from. And I'm not giving you shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. you different. Yeah, yeah. Makes it, it makes it different. Like, but when, I, when you say your age, I'm like, all right, I'm going to give like you Like somebody from like suburbia America, I'm going to give you more yeah. of the age range out. You know what I mean? Because you don't understand. Like people be taking it the wrong way when like you have rappers be like, man, you ain't lived this. You know how everybody trying to make it a point. It makes it seem like they lived the shit they rap. Hell you man. looking at it wrong. When Jay Z said, "I'm from an urban where you had to, you, or you had to live it when you wrote it," he wasn't saying like go do the crimes that you're writing about. He's saying don't write about crimes that you didn't have to do them. It's not exactly. saying in the sense of, oh no, nah, go prove how real you is because you got niggas out here that will go do shit just so they can rap about it, just so they can tell you like, yo, you know what, what I mean? Did. Like niggas be out here really be on Instagram doing shit. Niggas be on lives in different like. This city, different city everywhere. Niggas be on lives doing shit that can really get they so caught up to prove that they this person with whole time. Nigga not saying, yeah, you gotta keep doing it currently. Nigga just saying like, yo, you gotta come from that type of environment to really have a conviction. Yeah, you know what I mean. And niggas just don't be want to be themselves, not realizing yo being from the hood isn't a goal. Getting out the hood mm -hmm. is exactly. a goal. Exactly. Like niggas be thinking like, I'm gonna get all this money. Like nigga, nigga bring a five hundred thousand dollar car to the hood every day. Like, all right, bringing it back to motivate your people. That's what you're supposed to do. But you're not supposed to stay there and be there on the daily exactly. basis when you don't have to. Do exactly. Like, that just don't that's make sense. That's like going with in the fucking Sahara with dead meat on you <laughs> every fucking day. Exactly. Oh, I'm that's why this time. That's why I told you. Like, that's why when you asked where I'm from, I'm like, yeah, I'm from Elgin, but I'm out here now. Yeah, like I know where you at. I know where you from though. Like yeah. go down right there too. Like you know, like I used to live in the creek. So like yeah. I know about how like around that Liberty Road and all the um, type areas there is where you go towards the county. It's not sweet neither, but the part that makes it not sweet is people not just realizing that it's okay to be from them areas. They just be having such a chip on their shoulder that they feel as if they gotta prove that they hard mm. or feel as if like man. Fuck all that, man. Niggas, that, man, we get down <laughs> out here, too. Bro, that's no. the point. If you're capable of something, okay, be be able to be capable of it, but you don't have to show your capability every time you open your motherfucking nose. Or well, every time you step outside this door. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, people be thinking, like, like our generation, like, motherfuckers be so easy, be so willing to just shoot and kill, bro. That's not supposed to be your first. It's supposed to be your last. Resort. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you can't get money that way. Can't. You feel me? You, gonna, you can get in jail that way. Yeah, you, you can't get, get money, but you're not gonna have get money long. Exactly. That's not long term. You're gonna be in jail for a very, very, very long time. You're gonna, gonna kill you. You're gonna hit a lick for 20 racks and get to spend about like five of them bitches. Then no, you might spend the whole. You 20. spend the whole 20 is over with. Now you oh, got shit. a lawyer fees and is like. Or if that one ain't go that way, you might got away with. You know what I mean, nigga, make police man not nobody, but nigga gonna kill you. <laughs> and then they, like you took 20, nigga gonna put 20 on you. <laughs> oh shit. You feel me? And then it's gonna be a nigga you know that do it. Honestly, it's gonna be a nigga that walk with you every day. That's why you spend that twenty. Like, he right here. Nothing. He, he right, right here. Right here. Right <laughs> Or not even that text it. Yeah. Nigga, nigga text dropped the location. Right, or nigga Facetime. Like, I'm on Facetime with my bitch, bro. Hold on. Do this right to you. Right yeah, here. I'm on Facetime with my bitch. I'll be right back. Hold up. Yeah, this nigga right here, dummy. Bro, right here. What you wanna do? Give me an extra five. I do it myself. I do it right now. I do it right now. You feel right here, dummy. Oh, that shit not funny, but it's true. Like. It's the facts of it. And that's the part niggas don't talk about. Exactly. You feel me? Like, and that's where, I don't know, that's where we come in with our music, bro. Because mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell you what come with that. Like, I don't just try to glorify the trap. Okay. I could. I could have all my niggas I know that's really getting money, bringing everything in my videos and all that, making them hot. But I ain't going that. Look at you, nigga. I'm a, if you did that, nigga, I'm going to call you Bobby Smurder. 
<laughs> Man, Bobby Smurda just got caught up in Bobby Smurda, a stand up nigga. He held it down. He took he went down with the ship. Yeah, he did. He did. He took more time for Roddy to come home. Exactly. Like, That's some real nigga like, shit. Nah, like, no, nah, you can't use Bobby for that. Bobby was all the time. Bobby was but solid. The, the reason why the yeah, case was, started was, was because of the hot nigga. But Bobby was already Bobby was already in on them niggas. Bobby was already living like that. Yeah, they was doing that before that. Like Bobby not a nigga that he's not six nine. He's not a nigga that I'm getting racked and then I'm gonna jump in with y'all. No, he was already living like that. They been was on okay. that. Like, been you look at the him. case, that shit was been, they been, we been got y'all. They been, oh, yeah. they been do him by name. Okay. Like, no, you, you, you going down with them. It's not no, oh, he the reason they gonna go down. No, you been gonna go down. Now you think you gonna get out? Nah, bitch, now we got you. That's how they did that, man. Oh. Bobby stand up. I don't know. Okay, Bobby, I take it back if you listening. <laughs> like, nah, fuck Bobby, with Spurs, man. Spurs a real nigga. drill music, Bobby. I'm tired of the Man, music. fuck all that. Live your life. That nigga just did seven years. He's like, no, fuck all that. Don't worry about that music drill. shit. <laughs> You don't have to do the the, the shoot 'em up drill music. You can so do like B love. So how much drill music is it, nigga? B love, nigga, my everything. Nigga say B love, cruddy. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. You know, I know you cruddy. I know what all them niggas' story. You don't have to make the cruddy drill music. You yeah, shout out to B love. I don't know you, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just want. I just. I don't want to hear the uh, that type of music. Uh, I just want to hear some Bobby makes better music. Bobby I probably don't want to make that music no more. Yeah, and for real, I'm a big Bobby fan. That nigga probably scarred. Yeah, and nigga. Well, yo, hang out with me, Bobby. Yo, the I, first you got to think, you can't, we well, can't, you got to say, yo, I don't want to go to jail. And then I, show enough go to jail. Listen, Bobby, hang out with me, bro. We, I get you right, bro. Yeah? Yeah, I get him right, bro. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? So. I feel right. like that's a substantial nigga. It's like Bobby. All right, let's get, <laughs> let's get in some nitty gritty and ready to talk about the music. I'm waiting on it. You had a night, you had a night baby tape? Yeah, the new tape you just dropped? Yeah. Yes. What you think about it? What? I think it was just, I think me personally, I think it was like, I'm gonna put this. It's more so like, it wasn't like, it wasn't just like your regular old like, regular smuggler. You know what I mean? I feel like it was more like, like I said, you're a poetic person. I feel like with every project you get more poetic. You what know was what I mean? Favorite song on it. I think more so. I think I don't remember the name, but it was like the second to last song. Um, that would be bloody big much? drunk suicidal thoughts. Was it bloody? No, much? it wasn't suicidal. She said second to no, last. Second to it wasn't second to it wasn't that. Well, it was so simple. 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 So so it was simple. Could, could it be so simple the Wu-Tang? Mm-hmm. Can it be? I, I don't I don't know nothing about Wu-Tang. Bro, about I'm young as hell. I never heard. I don't, oh, he I don't probably bump don't know what the beat is. He probably just listen yeah, so to it. He probably don't know what it is. He probably got hit. I, I don't be listening to Wu-Tang. He probably got hit. All right, hold on. Let's see. That the so so does was second one. Let me see. Let me see the track list. No, it was definitely. Wait, go to the bottom part. Yeah, y'all ain't hear that yet. That's 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 yeah, the first go on YouTube or audio yeah. met and grab that. That nineties baby freestyle. It was New York freestyle. Or New York. Yeah, it was a New York freestyle. I'm savage, I'm serve addicts. Don't stop trapping. Pulling rap inside her head, I worked up magic. Drinking rose out the bottle to ghetto for glasses. Reminds me, still niggas, we create what's cracking. Used to stare at the ceiling, me and my fucking bippy. Watching Jay Z big pimping, thinking how we gotta get it. Real nigga in the I, mirror. I, 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 Boy, I, I, ain't I, I, got I, no I, limits. Suggest you show him his respect. If not, you better kill him. Uh, what you talk about? Go uh, get that. Uh, every time I hear your bars, it made me hit one of these. Like, don't find niggas like. Ah, do that ah, 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 you might gotta do that. <laughs> shit, all right, bro. That you gonna do the crazy. DJ Nick version? You might gotta do that for the freestyle. Not this one here. Bro. I don't know, bro. Uh, that blood money is something blood different, money, bro. Fuck, 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 do blood money. Bro. You probably ain't hear that blood money, does you? Turn on that blood money. Turn on blood money, bro. I'm obviously missing that. That man crazy. That I know, cause I didn't. Money, I don't. I don't. I didn't listen to the. I don't remember the name, bro. This is like the uh, third, third song. What I, I listen. I said. Baltimore get the bloody money, home invasion, everybody get down cruddy money. I know how I feel, fucked up with no money. Niggas die, kill, kidnap kids for dope money. I know her uncle Weiss look at his nephew like son. Oh, oh, I remember that. If he ever get hungry enough, she getting ugly. Betrayal come from a friend, you'll never see it coming. Gotta watch all your bitches and who you call your brothers. Niggas eating your face to sit back and hate. Cause you ain't asked for they food, you fix your own plate. Turning oodles and noodles to lobster and steak. Best advice I could give you is don't get in the way. Cause uh, once you make that decision, we get you out right, the way. Right, I don't want to get the song whitelisted. I don't want to get the song whitelisted. I mean, it's probably the songs. I mean, this video is already whitelisted. I ain't gonna lie, uh, bro. You, it's okay. It's okay. I don't. It's not. It's, it's not gonna. It's not. It's, that means like when they uh, monetize. Claim it. Yeah, they claim it. But it's not monetized anyway. Um, 
So it's not, you know. It's, yeah. Actually, the suicide does really play that in the uh, protecting that you that got monetized if they don't. They yeah. don't play. Yeah, you know, they don't. They don't be, Diddy don't play. They didn't play. Yeah, but them joints you just play, though, you, you don't good. get paid. Yeah. So if you want to monetize this video, you But good. it's not going to be monetized. It's okay. I don't have enough subscribers, so it's, it's okay. You ain't got them yet, you feel me? Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, got them yet. yet. I put the yet, yet in there, yeah. man. I don't got it yet. I'm definitely going to have to, bro. I'm definitely want to, like, like hi, not hire. I want to pay y'all to, like, help. Because, like, the Blase Network, like, I kind of just thought of it on the fly because I was already making a podcast. I was already in motion. But I really want to embody, like, a whole brand. You know what I mean? And I feel like the Blase Network is just a pick thing. And I feel like y'all can really help me, like, the name and, like. You know what you did right the first thing you did right, though? What? It was doing something. Yeah. You know the second thing you did? You something. started Blase. <laughs> you after your name. <laughs> yes, sir. And then the third thing you did is you stamped me in the jaws. So. Definitely could do that behind the scenes and put you to help you put that together though. But you're doing it right because motherfuckers are think I have an idea but never started because they trying to get the right moment too. It never, it's never, it's never a right moment ever. It's never, you never gonna be fully <laughs> yeah. prepared. You just gotta do and learn and just it's do what better. you are capable of doing. It's because. no better teaching than, than trial and error because it's still your trials and your errors and Hell your yeah. wins. So hell yeah, bro. Yeah. If I would have never started a podcast, I would have never met Menace, bro. I would have never met Blase Crust. Fuck, mm. fuck Blase. I'm talking about Menace. Nah, mm-hmm. don't don't say that. I mean, your brain don't know you playing. All right, yeah, you're right. But <laughs> yo, I, I was I was excited this because I I really enjoyed your music. Like like I really enjoyed your music. Like, that's just that shit. That shit is like uh, like I'm I'm obviously I still got I, I feel like I got learning to do before I just fully really embody your music. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, you listen to it so you can learn. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what I'm just trying to teach. That's just how I feel as a young nigga listening to your shit. Shit, nah, I want you to listen to it more because it ain't that. The more you listen to it, the more you'll learn and the more you'll get, you know? Because I make it for young niggas. Like, it's not like. Because I be looking at it like, damn, I wish it was more music I could listen to because that's how I look at Nuz. I look at Nuz as a teacher. Mm-hmm. You know, I look at Jay as a teacher. I look at. What's your favorite Nas album? Is that your favorite rapper? Um, one like, of them. I feel like one I, of them. It's, it's top. It's def- definitely top five. Okay, me. okay, I'm good. I'm right on. Point. My favorite Nas album is I Am. Mm-hmm. That's that got um, Hate Me Now, Small World, mm-hmm. Favor for a Favor with Scarface. Um, can I talk to? It got um, State of Mind Part Two, New York State of Mind Part Two. Um, it got a lot of hard songs on there where. They helped mold me, but my favorite, one of my other favorite rappers is Gotta Be 50 Cent, though. Mm. Like, Get Rich or Die Trying is mm. my, one of my, that's my favorite album, like, that's, that's all the time. Only real niggas lie. say that. Like, niggas don't just be <laughs> saying my favorite artist is 50 Cent. Like, that's that, that's my favorite album of all. Like, if I got stuck on the island, I could listen to, I get on this nigga nerves. Mm-hmm. Well, how much I play that, how I play that out in my line, yo. <laughs> I gotta start playing some 50 Cent. Like, that's my favorite artist, though, like. And it's 50 not, remind me, like, Cause I was there when that era happened, but listen to it again. Cause we look at Fifty now, when I listen I to back that. again, like it reminds me, like, oh yeah, he really was that. Like early in the day when the restaurant they play uh just Timberlake uh Cry Me a River. Mm-hmm. I remember when Fifty rapped up it and they played that on the radio all day. That's why I was thinking like, yo, I just remember the Fifty era where it was Fifty, 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 and I'm like, I'm thinking about it, it was there's no artist to this day like that where. It's, Probably Wayne was the closest to that where they just was everywhere. You couldn't and, go nowhere. And not just that. They wouldn't try and be nobody but they self. Yeah. Like 50 wouldn't try and be nobody but 50. You feel me? And that's why I like, when I feel like I'm the new 50. Like, especially Jeez. like, cause. That's some real shit. Because like, we not going out just trying to ask niggas for handouts and shit like that. Like we, we earn our own keep. Like, I got what twenty four hundred followers, but my twenty four hundred real, and then my next ten thousand, then my next twenty. They definitely, 30, they definitely real. Be, they definitely realer than my followers. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> okay. and that's what I, I, I reach for. Like, I want that kind of grind because Shorty put like he put out nothing but quality music, and it was real. <laughs> like, you could feel these lyrics, and I and I don't do nothing but write but shit that I actually even been through. You know, and my own experiences. You know, walking life. So that's mm-hmm. why. I, I feel like that, and then I feel the energy like y'all niggas not gonna stop me. Y'all not gonna stop what we got going on and how we gonna come in. And I'm not tucking my tail. I'm not being nobody else but myself. Like, and if you you can't accept that, that's your problem. And that's how I feel, and that's why I feel like him. You feel what I'm saying? And 
I don't know. Like I remember, um, I had somebody review my video and they said it gave them. They reviewed Make Believe and they said this gave me Fifty Cent vibes. And I was. The I bitch can't was believe I try, didn't realize that. The bitch was trying to say that, like trying to like play with me, and I was looking at it like, bitch, you, you realize how much mm-hmm. you just gave me? <laughs> like, yeah, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> like that's one of my favorite. Actors. I gave you Fifty vibes. That's cool. I'm with that. I take Man, that. Man, point out. I, like, I smack him nah, for you nah, on behalf of Menace. Nah, What's I ain't up? giving that bitch no light. Don't give him to. <laughs> yeah, don't let don't let me see. I'm 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 sliding for minutes. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> no for real. I'm a Florida. fan, bro. Huh? I'm a fan. She from Florida. <laughs> she from Florida. What that nigga Charlamagne said? All the crazy people come from the Bronx of Florida. <laughs> Hell no, they don't. Niggas, one right here. One right here. Shit, nigga, I'm very logical. If I do something nah, to you, you ask for it. Different, dog. I, I be weird. <laughs> like. Niggas walk, around, niggas walk around with Chapman and Gold Cubans all day, man. Them niggas crazy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Nigga, you had a camera in the blick. What's the difference? It's logical. <laughs> <laughs> it's reason. Nigga was still working on I want a drink on my butt bag, nigga. <laughs> Holy shit. Shout out nigga. to Florida, man. Good weather. Yeah. Nigga better than Peter Parker. Peter Parker ain't no blicker in his fucking. He already had the Spider Man suit. <laughs> you ain't saying that about Peter Parker flip the cars and shit every day. Throwing yeah, yeah, fucking cars right. at people. And I guess you're right. Nigga breaking bridges and all that. Just starting beef with niggas Man, that trying to destroy the world. I ain't gonna lie. Sewer hoes at people. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Taking niggas, niggas upside nigga, down. Nigga beef with niggas and sad niggas that can do. Disconnect like blocks of the city and shit. I ain't gonna lie. With a bit, man. That nigga used to hang people upside down. I'm trying, get, I'm trying to get some sneakers. This nigga fucking with niggas that can fuck up the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If the Spider Man threw my whip, like, was that insurance? Like, what do I gotta do about this? Fuck you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I used to hang you upside slide down on 50 him. feet, just hanging off the post, like, yo, bro, yeah, get me hit, down, nigga. All the blood about to hit your yeah, head and kill you, dumb man. <laughs> Batman, just, I'ma just whoop your ass, man. Isn't that? I'ma hang you upside down. No, nah, Batman, Batman yeah. Patty, that nigga fuck up drug deals, all that, bro. No, for <laughs> real. Fuck that. Yo, like, yeah, Batman, Batman, Batman watched, terrorist, bro. Get that nigga off the street, show. I didn't watch the new Batman yet. Don't I watched the first ten minutes because it's on HBO Max. So I yeah. gotta finish watching it. That nigga come through. Them niggas was scared. Nigga was like this in the car with the hand. <laughs> 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 they leave, yo. The niggas was looking in their shadows like. Shorty, we gotta watch that after this tonight. He ain't even in the shadow. He's looking in the shadow. Oh shit, I'm out of here. Like for real, you telling me if Batman was in Baltimore, you like, like, come on, bro. Man, crime would be down. It'd be hella crackhead. Really... Nigga, crackhead no, crime crime broke into be, my car the other day. Crime would be damn what? Nigga, out the county, like out in the suburbs. Nigga broke into my a crackhead. That nigga was trying to get perks. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't. Bro, I had in the county. I had, I had my goddamn. I had my iPad. I had my MacBook in there. He didn't take none of that. Oh shit, bro. This nigga, this nigga, he, for the ashtray. no, for real. He for took my, money. he took yeah. the rest of my weed and he took fifty three dollars <laughs> up my yeah, shit. He took for the money, that's, and they saw this shit. Yeah, bro, this nigga, is never they just go for the money. Go, bro, they took the my, they took my goddamn scale. But the whole time, I know you glad they didn't take the MacBook, nigga, and the iPad. Nigga, I was praying. I was like, that bitch, please don't do shit. That. Man, some nigga just broke my other man shit. Man, that man had like six hundred dollars worth of clothes, Jordan, uh, all that shit in the trunk. They ain't take none of it. Niggas they just take? T- t- weed on the ashtray. Oh. Yeah, look with the drugs and the money. They ain't, they ain't even it. take my ashtray. They just took my you know weed. Why? I think it's because these these pawn shops now look at them like, I don't want that shit. I know where this came from. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if they unlock the computer. Yeah, that's what they looking at you like now. Like, you can't just take the technology now. They like, nigga like they so if I call you, it's going to pop up on the computer? <laughs> yeah, that's what they looking at. So, so they don't take that the... bitch, going to be like, all right, unlock it. Yeah, they don't want that. Like, what's the password? Boy. Yeah, man, they, I just got this. Man, get that shit off my face. Yeah, yeah I, I guess that you're right. no more. So I guess you're I, right. Take your dumb ass to jail. Like, All right, stay right here. I'll be right back. <laughs> man, yo, dumb ass right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy they take my shit. Shout out to them crack kids, man. Shout out to the crack kids. They paid a lot of nigga bills. I know you got some relationships with some crack kids. Man, I love the fans. Well, yeah, yeah, they <laughs> pop out with something you always need. Like, I, used be, I used to be one of them fucked up kids. I don't know why Baltimore fucked up. I remember niggas had a whole phase. Like, it was probably like two, three years. Niggas used to beat things up for no reason. What the fuck? Like, yeah. I don't know what niggas Like, like explain like. to me this. Like, you just walking home from school. Yeah, so niggas would knock a fan yeah. straight yeah, out. Yeah, niggas be just chilling like, yo. Man, get you. Yeah, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, no. I'll knock you out. I hate to be a crackhead. They knock out back then, bro. Like you just walk around knocking on random people just because you point knock at them. Knock out, fuck it. I'm gonna put this, the chill on you. Boom. So, man, so man, grab that brick. Yeah. <laughs> so out of out of y'all combined, how many crackheads have gotten abused? Probably more with me than him. Yeah, because I I wasn't there, but I was there. But I seen a lot of it. I might have did like a couple of times, but I, I witnessed a lot like, of shit. It's gonna be your turn to do it. Yeah, I did right. my turn. 
But I, uh, after a while, I just watch it. I stopped doing that though, like, and I really realized how much people they are. Then like, yeah, I think if you hustle, they who spend money with you. You yeah. can't abuse them, and man. The like, to go. And one thing the old head told me, so you don't know who these people are. So I've been to prison. That's you another thing. I wouldn't even are. touch on that yet. And once after like, that, I calmed down because he was like, yo, like I didn't that say that motherfucker person you was abusing. To somebody like I didn't say niggas because they clean up and you don't know who the fuck they are. And then not even that when they be on the street, like I didn't say niggas burn a thing. Like nigga come to get some ready, they hit them with some some hard BC powder. You'll come back with a car full of niggas. Like where you at? Yeah, that's why I say you don't even know who they are. That's why you, when like, I started that, I start I come the fuck down. I'm like yo, you like I'm talking about niggas on the block. Niggas like he, he not leaving. Like where you at? <laughs> Four or five young niggas, all them niggas bipped up, and he tell niggas like man, check this out, yo. Don't play with, don't keep doing that around here, bro. You don't know who you playing with. Yeah, I, like, I, nigga, I learned it before like, I seen that. No nigga game. told me that, like, and then I just remember when I was locked up, I just seen the, the older guy. I can tell you he was doing, he was doing the streets. I watched how like, he was controlling the whole tear, and niggas was following behind you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, boom, 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 boom. I got the bike for 200, this, that, boom. And everybody following you. Like, a bike is a phone. Nobody don't know. <laughs> A bike is a what? That's the phone for phone. Oh, in jail? Yeah. Oh, we in jail. I didn't know this. I thought yeah, you just. Yeah, so they like, I'm watching everybody. And I'm like, and he's like, what's up, young fella? I'm like, he just remember me. Yeah, oh, what's going on? Like Bigger shit, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up, young girl? Boom. And where did you know him from? Nigga, sir. I know, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. At least tell you not yeah, yeah, yeah. like with the fans. Why we don't disrespect yeah. him? Like. And then when I came home again, he was telling me what certain people's names is, boom. And I always kept that mind, mind telling me. And he like, I ain't gonna say his name. Kept the 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 blicky, the stab he stabbed. The shit was like, this be I always kept on him. And they're like, yeah, yeah, stab. And I'm I like, I know, I know. And the joint. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and he kept that coming home. And he he controlling the lines. Yo, go right here, go around this building. And I'm like. So what jail was you in? Okay, I was in. City jail, I see. Mm-hmm. City jail, all that bookings. Nigga, what? These I'm two different places? Like, no, I'm trying to but, explain the. I forgot what sections. I was in all the sections. Then I, I mean, the you was down with diagnostics, all that shit. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't go there. I wish, but I ain't go there. <laughs> but then I went to J.I. Mm-hmm. I was 800, 900, 700. That's when the box came on, came back. What are these numbers? These different they sections in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, then, then I came back. Over, I think over the pen. They put DOC over the jail. Because that's what I said. They keep changing the session up. DOC is Department of Corrections. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. So yeah. I went over there and they sent me out. ECI 420. Eastern, Eastern Correctional. Correctional. <laughs> Eastern Shore. Okay. I got you, bro. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell I'm struggling. I went over there. Then I came back with the BPRU that's pre released. That's on Green Mount. Okay. Then I came to uh, Halfway House. Hmm? Then I came over. Hmm. So how long, how much time was that combined? Just give them niggas a number, yo. <laughs> all the guys, like, yo. T- three years, all of them. Because mm-hmm. it wasn't consecutive. Consecutive was 15 months. It was all together, probably like three years. And you think you can give me an experience summary? It's for, oh, shit, I can give you that. That's easy. <laughs> uh, experience summary. Whoever you think is tough is a bitch who he, uh, He's gay. I had to oh, PC myself. Oh, not even just that though. What's niggas she supposed be over, to niggas say? be over there asking. I was about to say, them niggas, them niggas, <laughs> them why. niggas that be on the streets, gripped up with the thirty and all that. Niggas be over there asking niggas to get them on the phone, man. Yeah, so I was gonna go. I'm gonna get to it. I, you said what I was gonna say. I was about to say that word. I had to catch myself. Okay, thank you. The people who think they are ain't who they are. Okay. All you ladies that's watching, well, your man is that that. He a he bitch. Like we chased him. And all of them. He like the trans. It's he trans in jail. Yeah, you gotta. They gonna lock you up. You a man. They lock you up with the men. Oh, so do they have a vagina? No, they they just nigga. They lock up with men. <laughs> they identify. They come in. Oh. And the thing about them, old even they ain't trans. They might be just gay. Hmm. That gay person is a killer. So oh, he shit. ain't. He, he, that's just what he do, yeah. Up, yeah, that's just what he do. Yeah, so, Sersky. But it be like what fuck me up. This would fuck me up when I got to prison. Would fuck me up. It be the youngest people fucking with this. What we call quote unquote. You ain't watching a bitch. Mm-hmm. If you gay, we call you a bitch. Okay. Especially because niggas who into that will call you a bitch. It be young niggas with handcuffs on that walking around with the bitch. 
You're not supposed to walk around the bitch you don't got hair. Because they do your hair. That's what they do. The gay people do your hair. Oh, hell So if you don't no. want no hair, why are you walking around with it? You will see that. And I seen young, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to see older niggas with them. Because I'm like, that's what they fit. do. It's fresh young niggas. I'm thinking, I'm going to see niggas that did 15, 20. I expect them to do that. Okay. But they said a lot of them would be the most disciplined niggas. Oh, hell It'd be no. young niggas that come in that ain't disciplined. And all I'm saying is, that's what you want to do, just be yourself, bro. Like, don't, don't, But don't. they come home once a month, bro. I seen you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then me, I'm always the cool for anybody to work at a job, because I work in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I like to dictate. Is that a good job? Hell yeah. Okay. One of the good jobs. Like you around the, the food. Job. Yeah, you around the food and you just What type of snacks did they have? They had like Twinkies? Yeah. This, this nigga Damn, ain't about commissary. Twinkies. <laughs> How much was the Twinkies? Favorite cakes. I forgot they cheap. They cheap okay, shit. Good. They cheap shit in prison. Over city jail, they hot shit. Damn. Oatmeal, cream pie, all that. Niggas uh, make their own shit. Make money, hustle off of them. But yeah, it's like, when you get cool, especially me, I ain't no ugly nigga. I can cool with the bitches. They tell you everything. Like you will see some shit that that, that you wasn't expecting from that person. You probably this, was thinking, pimp C yeah, in the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to like trying to be PC as possible. I'm thinking pimp C and boosie in my head. <laughs> but you will see some shit. The one thing about prison, don't look at nobody's house. What's up? Well, it's, it's not. Don't it's look at nobody's house. They house. Oh, yeah. you got to think. You don't live in do a, that. That's your house. Just keep walking by. You keep walking to you. So don't hit one of these. Don't do don't that. Don't do you it. Get stuck being stabbed. Fuck being stabbed. Fuck being stabbed. Yeah, fuck. You don't see some shit that you was just gonna be in your fucking brain for the rest of your life. Don't oh shit! It. Give me an example, bro. Alright, I'm gonna give you an example. Well, look up. You gonna see look some up, boys? Look up, look up boozy. No, 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 we ain't gonna do that. Uh, look up Boosie and look at Boosie talking about a Coke can. You don't know everything you need to know. We you said talk Boosie talking about what? The Coke can. You know what I mean? Coke can? I'm dead serious. Google that. Boosie Coke can. Yeah, you don't know anything you need to know. We not gonna say it. Mm. No, no, no. Hey, yo, I'm trying to make music for everybody. You know what I mean? I appreciate everybody listening to my music. Man, I hang out with you. you we cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. It's, it's you, the people you was not expecting to do some certain <laughs> shit. That's why I say you keep walking, keep your tear here. Mind your business. Mind your and then, like, because people don't understand because they think that everybody in the shower naked. That's not how showers work in prison. Niggas take niggas take showers. Take by the on. individual. Yeah, take, <laughs> it was a group shower. You take a shower with your, your boxes on, and everybody mind their business. But you better keep walking. You might see some shit like, because at a certain time, like at a certain time, mind yeah, your because, business. Yeah, at that time, everybody. It's like respect. This one thing about prison, I, I always will love respect. Is everything about respect? Group everybody in there. At a certain time, is yo yo niggas is whatever. So if you peek and see some shit, that's on your stupid ass. But go in there. And it's crazy. I'm a nosy nigga. That's how it's no, no, you don't want to be nosy yeah, in prison. Be nosy there. And it's crazy. I've never been to prison, but I've been raised around so many convicts, bro. You been to prison? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. He just There's told you every way. I thought we was talking about jail. No, I've been to jail. That I told, oh, you probably ain't know what I'm He saying. not going to know the difference. He yeah. talked about how he went from jail and then went to prison. Oh. Yeah, and then I went to a half. He released them with the halfway house. Like he walked you through the whole the whole trip, like from the city jail to going. To oh, you only gave me a summary. Yeah, yeah, he walked you through the whole journey just now. You ain't peep it. So how long have <laughs> you been back? It's been a minute. This is like 2013, 12, 13. It was Cause I, I ain't I going back. <laughs> how you like being back since 2013? I love it. <laughs> of course, I had my daughter in 2012, nigga. Oh shit, he missed <laughs> out. <laughs> He been hitting. No, I'm saying he been here, nigga. You got to oh. think he, he came home 2013. Had my daughter 2012. My daughter nine. Nigga been home for eight years, man. Mm, that add up. Nah, man. <laughs> okay. That's about right, right? Yeah. I mean, my, I mean, my case is they went to halfway house once. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I can't say I'm in the halfway house. They wouldn't let me, right? I just got there, too. I just got there. Right, they're like, yeah, you know, on the list, you can't come. The wild part was, I seen them taking the trash out. I was like, hey, come. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I looked up. <laughs> I'm that going was the best highlight of my day. I was not expecting that. I heard somebody say, hey, cheat him. Like, and you know, like, we cousins, we family, but it's different from when you actually see your, your family try and make an effort to really come, come and see, see you. you. Yeah. yeah. And he told me that. He was just like, yeah, you don't know what that meant to me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, for real? like, yeah, ain't nobody else do that. Besides hey. what, one other person try to come see you in that bitch? Yeah, fit. Fit. Shout out to man. man. He, 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 he called my name, I looked out the window. Like, oh, he did the same shit I did. 
No, you came at night time, so I definitely could come out. You came like right before about to get night. So I'm like, I'm yeah. outside checking the trash. Okay. My sense nigga on the box and shit. He ain't know you come out front. It was like, shit, nigga, I didn't know I could come this far. <laughs> nigga, you was standing at the door. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, fucking with these hoes, bro. Nigga said, yo, stand, nigga said, they got the box and that's before they start letting niggas drag on the box. It was like, yo, it was like, yo, stand by the box, but let's bitch get the beep and let me know. I'm gonna see how far I can go. <laughs> yeah, I'm with them hoes. How long was <laughs> it? How long? How, other, uh, how long could you go before What's the movie beeping? came out? Shia LaBeouf movie came out Samaria, so I was like, I definitely oh, was yeah. fucking with them hoes. So that's, did you? Did you test to see how far you could go before it started beeping? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, how far could you go? Like, give, me, give me a good perspective. That nigga made it to the front gate. The front of my gate, front <laughs> gate. In the back, yeah, gate. Okay. But I live in my house. I got my house. It's like a patio, <laughs> and then it's this. So it's I the made same it. house you in now? No. Nah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I made it like far, and I was like, that was good enough. I did test my limit because it was our grandma's birthday. I ran across. Like, ran. Oh, Let's shit. See. <laughs> and then like, oh shit, and I ran I'm back. Like, Look at your back. dumb ass back. Yeah, <laughs> back. <laughs> your man's across the street, and it wasn't happening. I don't know. That shit was vibrating? No, nah, it, it was the, beat the, when the I was beat, in the house. The beat, the house will beat. It's not oh. So I'm, I'm yelling from the door, nigga, get back here. Yeah, they're not going to tell, and we don't want to tell you. We're trying to get you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we came left, you know what I mean? Like, we come from that. We come from shit like that, man. I had to make it here, you know. Mm hmm. Like me directing my own videos, you know, like really constructing them. It's definitely been a long way. Yeah. From having a blick in the camera in the book bag to what I've been hearing. Mm. You still stuck on that, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I just want to know, like, did you have Fuck Miles Did you have gum nigga, in there? It's, it's huh? Did you have gum in there? Nah, I had my notebook, shit like that. You like know? your rap book? Nah, like schoolwork. Oh shit, that was your school book bag. Yeah. yeah he was going to school his ass. <laughs> so nigga, you was going to school with the blick in I your I would rub you on my uniform. In the uniform, what school did you go to? Um, I went the first. I went to Puckville. Uh huh. Then I went to um Doug, mm -hmm. Frederick Douglass for those who yeah. don't know. Yeah. Then I went to um Woodlawn. Then I got put out Woodlawn. They put me at um military school, oh Free State Academy. And then I got put out of there. How was military? Um, it was alright, but niggas acting like bitch ass niggas. I'm gonna punch mm -hmm. you on your mouth. So hmm. like it was wild. Me and my nigga Juice, free Juice, man, man. I miss you, bitch. Free Juice. You know what I mean? Don't but, know what um, that is. Yeah, man. <laughs> I miss you, dumb nigga. Um, if you, you probably watch on my videos, you probably seen them in there. Nigga, all the neck tats and shit, like skin. Oh, for real? Scarred. Yeah, emotionally scarred. Yeah, emotionally man, scarred. free Juice, man. Like, yeah. I, I felt the connection to that nigga. No homo. <laughs> 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 that nigga was be funny as shit. But oh, uh, we was at Free State together and shit. Um, we was in there. We made it like a whole month. Then nigga try to play, we whip show, he told on us, got us put out of there. Mm -hmm. And that was high school. You feel okay, me? let me let me ask <laughs> I'ma ask up the wrap up questions. Right. It is only two questions. Right. First question is pretty simple. You should you since y'all already sit and talk about y'all should already y'all y'all should already know. What what's the what's the next step for menace right now? What you mean? Next step, like what's the next single? What's the next? What's um, the next? What's the next video? What's the next about, album? We about to um, I don't be wanting to tell the left hand what the right hand be doing, but mm -hmm. um, just give us a little. You can give us a little sneak. You can at least we about to shoot. We about to shoot head. Hit. We about to shoot head off of Civilized Ooh. Savages. Okay. You look that up, Spotify, YouTube. Yes, sir. Ski. Album music hit. Go look it up hit. right now. And then that video will be dropping. So we about to shoot that. Um. Probably go to some more cities, shoot some more videos, like you no know, different around the country. You know, like I like going to different cities and actually seeing what they got going on and you know, getting that essence too. I'm just going everything to be Baltimore. You know? I'm going to New Orleans next week. Oh, New Orleans is fire, bro. Where should I go? Guys. Help me. Go down the quarter, bro. You wanna have fun. I'm Do we you. have Yeah, like it's gonna be a weed van down there, you know what I mean? They got weed bro, they sell edibles on the street down oh, in New Orleans, shit. bro, in the quarter. Like the quarter is fire, bro. I'm gonna look up the quarter. So you like French remember? quarter. That's what it's French called. quarter. The French, French quarter. French. It's like quarter. what? It's a best Bourbon Street. That's where everybody goes. It's, oh, it's, it's a party all day, every day, bro. I'm Where's the gas? The yeah, they got they got some Zaya down there. Where? The, why are you whispering like we can't hear you? <laughs> nigga, them people don't know you, nigga. <laughs> fuck fuck some people. Love. <laughs> fuck the love. I don't know what the fuck going on. They, 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 they want to they gonna follow you to New Orleans because you want to buy some weed. Nigga, they sell weed on the street in New Orleans. What you talking about? I guess you're right. Oh, like, but no, nah, it's like, um, it's live now that, bro. You're going to have a good time. Don't fuck with no voodoo people. No who people? Voodoo. They got voodoo. voodoo shops down there. Leave them alone, bro. That voodoo shit is real. 
I'm telling you, bro, you get your dumb ass turned into a frog down there. So. Mm-hmm. Frog? Yeah, Princess in the frog? Yeah, yeah my daughter was like that movie. movie. My daughter yeah, told me that. To movie real quick. <laughs> I told her I was going to New Orleans. I was like, I'm going to a voodoo show. She said, you're going to get turned into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Straight like that. You feel me? Like, so she looked at me dead in my eyes and said that. So I said, she had a duck like that in there, bro. She's like, you're going to get turned into a frog, dad. You said her mm-hmm. name Mia? Amaya. Amaya. Yeah. That's a beautiful name. So that's my hut, bro. That's mm-hmm. my hut right there. Mm-hmm. But like you gonna have fun down there, bro. The French Quarter is lit. You feel me? Um, it really got everything you need in the French. Like, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that like you really want to go to the hood and like, they got weed down there, all that. So not trying to go to the hood. Shit, I am. <laughs> Shit, we going to the three next time. I we only going. go to the. I only go to the hood with y'all. I I only go go to the places with y'all. I, and from now on, I'm not trying to go nowhere else. Whatever you want to, we'll bring you out of jail. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Get bro, you I'm, some trying, I'm trying like just talk to you, just chop it up with you. That's what I'm saying. There. You want to come right away? Yeah, Shit, we, you, we, yeah, we, we, we can we go down Atlanta if you want to. Shit, we just came from Atlanta. You know what you talking about? I'm talking about around my way. <laughs> oh, I you, you threw about me off with that. I thought like, you said at least at Atlanta. I, 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 said, I, said, around I, way. I said around my way. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Atlanta. I said you ever want to come around my way, chop it up, bro. Get you some content. I'm you down, bro. I bring your camera. I'm dead serious. I'm dead ass, bro. I'm down. Like, I'm gonna hit you up. Like you know now. Um, fat belly now, no, whatever. That's when nigga be shooting my videos, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. shorty, like, he ain't never felt uncomfortable shooting nothing. You feel me? That's why I bring him up. Like, oh, so me. I don't gotta bring my cameraman. No, no, you know what I'm saying? You can bring yours, but I'm saying, like, whenever you come around with me, you have a good time. You we gonna all, be good? You, you with all steep, man. You, you heard it, shorty. We just got the stamp. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I had I had a thing with light skinned niggas until now. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm cool with light skinned niggas now. Nigga, you a shade off. You ain't black, nigga. <laughs> you're like, you're like you a stuck a point, in the middle. Like, out tall. Nigga, that's because I'm ashy. Real big. <laughs> so you don't get light skinned when you put the lotion on. That's what, <laughs> no, nigga, that's, the only reason y'all think I'm light skinned is because I'm ashy. Nah, you in the middle. You ain't dark, nigga, and you ain't, you ain't, you ain't bright. You I call bright. myself Dirty Caramel. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Dirty Caramel, bro. All right, the last. I'm fucking with you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm having a good interview. Yeah, bro. We let this is the this is this is good interview. You All think right. so? I love it. I have fun. You think so? I know so, bro. Yeah. Okay. The last question. It's not the same as. How do y'all feel about Will Smith smacking Chris Rock? What's the Will most Smith first, smack first, the shit out of Chris Rock? I want to hear the minute smack the taste out that nigga mouth. My Chris man. Rock ain't even know what he got smacked about. My <laughs> <man is pain. laughs> Holy shit, my minute opinion. Shout out to Will, man. It's time you gotta stand I up mean, like a real man. Face, bro. You, you right, good, my man bro. I don't know what's going on personal shit, but honestly, if me, if if, if if he personally felt, if I personally felt that my wife or my lady felt something, you getting slapped. You lucky you just got, I, you, I just told you I will choke I, I'm you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I just told you I will choke I'm you. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I fuck with the fact you smacked that man. <laughs> because you know why? <laughs> we put too much emphasis on these different um these different platforms. These crackers. <laughs> it's cause it, we put too much emphasis and get them too much power and respect we don't give ourselves and our own people. Like, why the fuck is it that we get niggas to talk about how Suge Knight came at Puffy at the Source Awards, you know what I mean? Or niggas talk about shit like that, but you get mad because he slapped the nigga at the Oscars to be in front of these white people. Mm-hmm. My nigga, you gonna be, you know, you know, keep it real, no matter who they're in front of? Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson is the same nigga. No matter <laughs> if he find white people, black people. Mexicans. No, don't matter. He gonna say nigga, motherfucker, <laughs> bitch. Matter of fact, I slapped the he shit He gonna be up. like, bitch. He gonna keep it real though. He gonna be the same person, bro. Same energy. He's not gonna change him. So that's what I, I look at. You feel what I'm saying? Cause if that was motherfucking what's a what's a what's a real big white actor name? If that was motherfucking um Adam Sandler. Tom man, Hanks. If Tom Hanks would have slapped motherfucking Adam Sandler, it wouldn't have been no goddamn man. We need to strip yo. You feel what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? He can't come back for ten years. They that shit they wild. Had, nigga, they didn't had to sit down when they got motherfucking. My damn now, hundred million dollars a piece exactly. for talking about it. Exactly, you know what I'm saying. Bro. So ten, nah, ten years. I'm bro? not about to. T- I'm not about to see. I'm not man. about to sit here. Ten years, ago, ten years, a long time. He got his one. He already got it. Like who brought ten fuck? years, oh, bro? I'm not, I'm not bro who cares? He got me, his one. Let me finish what I'm saying. I'm, he might block bust let me finish. Thirty finish. million a film. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, man, I'm not about to sit here and tear down another black man because of how he should have behaved in front of these white people. I'm not doing that, man. I don't give a fuck that he slept your dog. <laughs> I'm glad he did. Like, I'm not about to be like, 
Boom, you felt disrespect, you should be able to act on things, man. Mm-hmm. Like, like straight up, like motherfuckers want to tell you that, like people want to laugh at you for not doing nothing, but then when you do something, you want to judge him for doing exactly. something. Exactly. Like, like the one time sense. he did something. Yeah, out of his whole career, niggas been talking about Will for years. He been letting all that shit slide. You want out of everybody you could have picked in the crowd, you pick me and my family. You know what I mean? And then you talk about some shit, mind you. I ain't gonna talk about all the toxic shit Jada be doing to yo. That's they business. You feel me? That's your wife. But the point of it is, you asking about the Chris Rock shit, man. I'm not about that, man. Alright, <laughs> all right, if you go up the steps first. Nigga, bop off left. on the last question of the interview. <laughs> first door to the left. We can go up the but steps. But nah, like I don't, I, don't, I don't feel no way about it though, man. Like it's, it's actions and everything. Chris Rock should have swung back. Like I'm not, I'm not with. You think they should have had a whole bra world store? Man, fight? I swung shit on, I swung on wrist like, like well, like a motherfucker nigga would slap me, man. Like fuck you talking, nigga slap me. You, you ever know it's back in the day when niggas slap each other, it'd be a duel. Somebody got die. Like you think Damn about it, like, I slammed into a duel. <laughs> it's a shootout after that. Somebody gotta go. <laughs> we can't just go home at the no, this. nigga. Ain't letting that, think about it, like you. I challenge you to a duel. Niggas walk, niggas walk the ten paces and bust at each other until somebody die. So like nah, paces. bro. Like <laughs> at least ten or six. That's like real shit. That's yeah. how you work with the Cowboys. Yeah, I know. I know. What you you're know what I mean? About. So it's just, that's old school, nigga. You know you's gonna say that. And nigga, that's the forefather was telling you how it should have went down. But Jeez. niggas don't pay attention to history. Niggas just want to blame it on black people for violence. But that's a whole nother story. Yeah, you know what I mean? But story. nah, man, that shit was funny as shit to see, man. I ain't gonna lie. I like to, I like to see real reactions, man. Real reactions, yeah. Because like we all human. We all human. Yeah. And like, how you supposed to react to disrespect? In your face, like right here, like she, like I'm right, like he, you know the walk wasn't that long to the stage, so he had to be close. He had to be like where the nigga door hit at. one of these, <laughs> nigga. And then the grab the bottom of your your vest and shit, he slapped that nigga like that's bitch ass nigga ain't going. Yeah, fuck that nigga. Turn his back, Turn on. His back <laughs> on him. That is crazy. I was digging that shit. I was like, yeah, well, bro, yeah, you know bro. how you know how solid you got you you know how much you got to know like this nigga not about to do shit if no, you turn I, your back. He didn't care if he did. That's the whole thing. I don't think he looked at like man, that's bitch ass nigga. He, he played with me. Bow, do something, and then walked off on him. You know what I mean? But like niggas don't get the fact of man. I'm trying to stand up for my family. I was a man trying to defend his family. Niggas just keep looking at it like man. He should have known better. He is rich. All right, let me ask you a question. If you rich, if you got a billion dollars, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody breaking your house. Are you not going to kill them because you got a billion dollars? Exactly, bro. You trying to protect something? Exactly. Exactly. So are you not going to protect your family because you're famous? Are you not going to protect your family because you're a millionaire? On that note, are man. you not going to protect your family because you're on TV? <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely like nigga, nigga. If you smack me right now, nigga, it's two cameras right here. I gotta do something. I'm talking, about nigga, disrespect your girl in front of you. Like I right now, nigga, say some wild shit. You know what I mean? Why, why we in here doing this? Cause you going like, nah, we on camera. Nah, cause we right here. I ain't gonna let it slide, and then you gotta look at her in her face and tell her why you didn't defend her armor. Fuck that. Dude. You gotta ride home. I'm had to. I'm, 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 I'm had to. Your kids. Like yeah, he played with my mo- he played with your mother on camera, but he played with your mother for the whole world. Like nigga, you can go look at that shit right now. Slide. You know what I mean? <laughs> like like yeah, he disrespected her, but I, you know we was right there, so he had, she had to take the disrespect and I had to laugh at it. Nah, nah, fuck all that, man. Hold, hold these five fingers to the face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dave Chappelle voice slap. <laughs> Straight no <cap>. up. <laughs> Unity. <laughs> Cold blood. Hey, hey man. On that note, Menace, is there anything you want to say to the people that's coming here to watch you? Is man, there anything you want to say to them? Yeah, I want to tell y'all I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I want to let y'all know that I'm going to keep dropping heat for y'all. I'm going to keep giving y'all my heart. Everything that I spit, it come from it. You feel me? So that way, when you feel like you hear me on the song, you really is. There's nothing. There's nothing cut over here. Everything is raw. There ain't nothing stepped on. All this shit is pure. Jeez. So, like, you feel me? Like, you see me here laughing, joking. You see my personality. There ain't nothing. I'm not going to let y'all know. I wear my heart on my sleeve with it. You feel me? For y'all, because that's what I want to give y'all. So, I just want y'all to check me out, hear my music, and just fuck with me. If you don't fuck with me, don't fuck with me. Don't do it, because you're not ready. Nah, if you don't, I don't want you to because you got right to your feelings. But if you do, if you feel what I'm talking about, you feel how I come about and like my outlooks, just fuck with me. You feel me? Follow me at L O R M E N A C E. That's Lord Menace. Yes, sir. You feel me? But all the platforms is Menace. Pervia M, Pervia E, Pervia N, Pervia A, Pervia C, Pervia E, and another Pervia. 
Cause we making evil niggas accept conscious energy, you feel me? This is high table entertainment. If you ain't at the table, you don't fucking eat. It's straight like that. And this nigga Chris brought us to the table. YouTube, high table entertainment. And we everywhere. Hey man, I'm accepted. Soundcloud, audio mac. What do I gotta do to be a civilized savage? Yes, be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already a civilized you savage. Be yourself and defend and defend your family, bro. A civilized savage isn't about being a savage. A civilized savage is somebody that's able to be their self and then when it comes time for them to be savage they step up to the civilized to the civilized like for example savage you, you try to protect your family you got to be able to turn into a savage to protect your family you can't stay civilized to do that but when you in these business meetings and you try to make shit happen you got to be able to be civilized and not all the way savage mm. you got to be a gangster and a gentleman bro mm. that's all it is you feel me one protects the other because like if you want to Bro, can we take one more shot before we leave? Yes, sir. Just, just, just one more. Just to sign it off, bro. Me, you tell me, hey, you say you take another shot. <laughs> I'm not no big. I got to get used to this. I'm, I'm trying to pull up. I'm not going to cap. Yes, sir. I need some real niggas to kick it with. I'm not. I don't kick it with nobody. These niggas be Should weird. I kick on? it with the baddest bitch on earth. She over there. I can dig it, bro. I can dig that. I can dig that, bro. You know, I got an old lady too, bro. I can dig that, man. I got to come to my job. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do a shame plug in that hood, fellas. Oh, hell Seven no. North Calvin Street. I'm the okay, man. Most of the goddamn time. So, Cheetah, what do you have to give? Give a give you. So, I, I don't have to ask you if you're a fan of minutes. I don't mm-hmm. have to ask you. So, um, give me some more so like a. What do you want to tell minutes? I want to tell. Uh, I'm gonna tell the world because he already knows. Is that, this if is, I wasn't supporting him, he know I'm I'm hard on me. Mm-hmm. When I tell you you bullshit, you bullshit. Mm-hmm. I told him like, nigga, you already yo. took the shot. That's all hitting that motherfucker. I told him already like, oh shit, especially when like I was there around when he he was rap as a kid when he first started recording stuff. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the best quality shit, but you heard it. Mm-hmm. Then you start hearing it. Then he just came back out of nowhere, like, yo, I said, what the fuck is this? This some hard, this sound like some shit on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I met. He started politicking his own self, finding his own engineer, like. So what, for chill, we wouldn't have a living. So I'm like, yo, I'll, I'll get behind it. Then the whole story he called me, like, I'm not trying to be fucked around the music industry, boom, boom, boom. This is around the time I started my own landscape company. And once I started, like you said, that's why we all just started. When I started it, I was still learning that. Once I started, I found out how easy it is just to start some shit. It don't have to be proper with that time. Just, just start it. He's something. So I called her back. I said, yo, why don't we start our own shit? So I said, start our own shit. I already had my mind, because me and our man home with Lefty still had to do. We wanted to start our own shit. And then the time I called with names, I love, love John Wick movie. So I was like, you remember the high table? And, and that's how it came. That's crazy. So we started it and then still building the building. That's so minutes. No, I already know what I want to say. I'm telling the fans, go to one. You look for somebody from Baltimore, he's the one. Mm-hmm. Like, I will compare him. 50 Cent, nigga. I'll you know, I'm talking him. about the artist. I'm trying to think of modern artists. Nigga, 50 Cent. <laughs> 50. No, it's at all. Even back in the past. There's nobody else. There's no Close, rapper I'm out right say now. Bro. Schoolboy Q. No. Mm, I'll take that. Yeah. Schoolboy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. He hard, but bro. I'm talking about modern people. I'm talking about not talking about people. Like I'm talking up to date. Up to date. I'm gonna say Schoolboy Q. Up to date. Up to date. Schoolboy Q. I fuck with Schoolboy Q a lot. A mix of King Von. Because me, honestly, I think the person who I think would tell a better story than Menace. Is dead and it ain't King Von. His name's Biggie. No cap. No <laughs> cap. To though. Man is, I think he the best storyteller now. <laughs> so. Fuck that. If Di- if Biggie was still alive and we can still compare people, people to him, Von, but we'll be doing, we'll be doing some but I think Biggie is, is still alive. Is no that. cap. But other than Biggie's minutes, you want his stories, you want to hear real shit, you want to hear gutter shit, you want to hear shit to me cry. You gonna, no, you not you nigga. Motivational you, shit. On top of all that, you gonna hear bars. I'm gonna spread that. That's the icing on the cake, nigga. That's the icing. That's the cherry on top. Because you know, like the real, the realism of my music is what I really focus. Yeah, because the bars. There's a lot of people with bars. There's a lot of people that but I would say that have more bars than minutes. They say some but shit, they but it, it's not. It's not connected. Yeah, yeah. Some niggas will say some shit. Damn, where the fuck you get that from? Like you got better rappers with bars all day. Yeah, but they can't. Like not knocking better rappers that can make songs, but Hell a lot yeah. of them can't. Exactly. With, 
Excuse me. With me, I focus on my nigga. I go, I go into my mind and I pull up a trauma, and I and I make it a song. You feel me? Like, like I got like this next tape we gonna drop in King Much We Trust. No, in King Much We Trust. Who is that? That's Much. Much. Yeah, that's my brother. Okay, explain who. I want you Munch, to expound on that. I never. Munch would be my best friend, my biggest supporter. You know, nigga that wanted all the best for me when I was going down the wrong path in life. He tried to get me on the right path. You know, like one of the most loyal niggas I ever came across in my life, and I mess him. To, I mess him with all my heart. You know, he died in 2019, right after I dropped my first tape. No. His last post on Instagram is my post, is my video, you know, and mm-hmm. he was, I met him in 2010, mm-hmm. and he was just loyal all the way until he died, mm-hmm. you know, and I just want to do it for him, you know, like, because if he was alive, I say this in all my interviews, he was alive, he'd be at the table, you would have to the framing for him mm-hmm. to be here, because he'd have been here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and now I'm making like him no more. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I'm talking about. I remember one time I was fucked up, and afraid of nothing. My daughter's birthday was coming up. This man caught an Uber to my house just to buy my daughter some sneakers for her birthday, bro. He was that type of loyal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about like he give you the keys to the crib, bro. I'm not standing at night, but he go somewhere for you to sleep. Mm-hmm type nigga. You feel me? So, in King Much We Trust, I'm putting, I'm letting him do, like, I'm, I'm remembering him in this album because it's the type of music he would love to listen to. It's not so much about having, like, sad songs, it's about him, it's about making something that I know that he would enjoy and love. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, that, you know, man, I, I get my feelings talking about him. I ain't gonna I lie. I get my feelings talking about him because I miss him so I much. You don't gotta say no more, man. You said it enough. On that note, that's the perfect note to end it off. On on that note, long live Munch. Long live. King Pulled up Munch. that shot for him. We at the table of real niggas. Thank you for tuning in to the realest podcast on earth. Number one podcast, twenty million dollar podcast. High table takeover. You High heard table me. takeover. Civilized savage. I'm part of it now, nigga. I'm. We gonna talk. <laughs> we gonna talk. No cat. We gonna talk too, Cheetah. You, you gotta cut your body, man. Oh, <laughs> you gotta sell it in blood. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh shit! You ain't put no lime juice in my. <laughs> no, no, nigga, you, you tough. Shot. Nigga, you be alright. You tough, right? No. You be alright. Nigga, nigga take shots every day. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> we glad Elpo did. Nah, man, that's how we love it, Shorty. Hey, man. On that note. Go fuck with him. Salute the real. Kill all the rats. <laughs> yeah. Go fuck with him. Go fuck with him. Twenty million dollar podcast. Another banger. Thank you for pulling up. I hope. Oh, I hope we. I hope. I hope we can see each other again. We, we definitely will. will. Man, Make hit some me, shit bro. happen. Pull up on you, my nigga. Make you want to come holler at me? Come, we can do this shit in the hood, bro. We can I'm do this shit whatever. Whatever you got going on, my nigga. We locked in. Show sure enough. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you for Thank having you, us. We in this bitch, and now we out this bitch. $20 million podcast, bang. Gang!